Grown Cass. Welcome to another episode of Homegrown with Liz and Cass. Today, we're going to use some household items to do an indoor workout because it's going to be shitty out all week. So these are items that you have in your house, I hope, um, that you can use as equipment. So guys, this is a three beer workout. Up until this point, we've been doing two beer workouts. Not a big deal. We added a little extra resistance this time. So that means you're earning that third beer only if you work hard. If we're dogging it the whole time, you don't earn the third beer. And if you're drinking beer while you're doing this, you're not earning it as you go. No, no. You, you might just, finish the workout. You might just fall over. Yeah. That's a good point. You could just fall over. I mean, we basically did without the beers. Watch, you'll see. Um, and make sure you watch to the end to see a hilarious moment. Enjoy for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> Yes! She's touching her butt again. You were halfway through and I go, Rrr. she just likes feeling herself up. First up, we're gonna grab our laundry detergent. There's a few things you can do with this one. We're gonna start with some bicep curls. Try not to rock your body. We're just squeezing this guy. Hopefully yours is a little bit bigger than mine. You can flip your hand around and do some shoulder presses. Make sure you get both hands in. You can alternate or you can go two to ten. We can go lateral shoulder raises. Make sure you keep your shoulders down. They're not scrunching up by your ears. They're locked in place and same thing with forward raises. And lastly, we can do some chest crossovers, getting both sides in again. Make sure you're squeezing right here. You can even put your hand there and squeeze, make sure that muscle's contracting. Okay, now we're gonna use a chair. We're gonna do some lower body workouts, and then I'll show you some stretches. So, if you have a chair, make sure it's steady so it doesn't fall over or collapse in on you. And you can do some step ups. So you're, all you're gonna do is just step up and back down. That's it. You can do this over and over again with both feet. You can also do it to the side, the side step up. You can do some Bulgarian split squats. Do this with both feet. If you lean forward, work more of the hamstrings. Um, another one you can do some bias squats. The feet up on the chair, toes pointed towards the ceiling. Um, you can do regular squats. Just touch the chair and come back up. You can also double tap. It's another good one. Some stretches you can do with the chair are uh, hamstring stretch. And you can also do an adductor stretch. Um, there's a few other stretches you can do on the floor, but uh, you can always use the back of the chair to hold on to. So when you do your quad stretch, you don't fall over, things like that. All right, next up we're grabbing our towels. Hopefully you guys have towels. We're gonna start by doing a few things on the floor. We're gonna get in our glute bridge. So lying on your back, your heels are going on your towel, on your slippery floor, not on your carpet. That would be kind of sucky. Hands on the floor, butt in the air. We're going out all the way. Keep that butt up, point your toes towards the ceiling. And you're squeezing and pulling them back in. So let's go out slow and squeeze. Keep your hips up. That's a really good one. Hamstrings are important. Next, we're going to flip over in our plank. Get your toes on the towel. I'm going elbow plank. You can go high plank too. You're going to go feet out and pipe up. Feet 
flipping back over. Another core exercise you can do is grabbing each end of the towel. We're going to sit and we're going to scoop. Towel scoops. These are a lot of fun. And if you're really tall, these are really hard. Okay. Next, we are doing some shoulders. So we're going to sit up with awesome posture. We're holding either end. We're going to start at the bottom. You're pulling the towel apart. So keep your shoulders glued down, pull apart. We're slowly going up. I'm already shaking. Going up and slowly going down. Pulling the whole time. This is hard, guys. If this is easy or crazy, you should be pulling the towel apart. We can go to the side. Up and circle back down. Do that in both directions. Lastly, we'll bring it in, pull apart as we go all the way up, pull apart as we go all the way back down. Do a few of those. So that was the last one for the floor. We're gonna stand on up. You're gonna get a foot on the towel. Stick your butt out to the wall behind you and go down. This one, we're gonna put all our pressure here. It should be light pressure on the towel and stand back up. That's gonna really work that standing leg. The other way you can do this is putting pressure into the towel. We're gonna go down with light pressure. I'm gonna push that foot down. As I slide back up, that's gonna get the inside of those thighs. So we're targeting the adductors when we push our foot into the towel. Good work. And then clean up your sweat off the floor with your towel because you should be working pretty hard. I didn't. Oh, wait, I forgot one. Hop back on the floor really quickly, really quickly. I'm gonna do this kneeling. You might be able to do it from your toes. We're gonna do a single arm push-up. One hand on the towel. Towel's going straight out. Towel's coming back in. Squeeze everything. Good job. All right, next up, we're gonna grab our backpack. Now, if you don't have a backpack, that's okay. Just steal your kids, no big deal. Just make sure you take their homework out before you start. So we can fill this with anything you want, anything that's heavy. Um, I suggest rocks from outside because everybody has access to rocks, right? I think so. Um, I used a weight, um, but you can really use anything you have in your house. So the first thing we're gonna do is some squat jumps. So we just hold on to the backpack, it won't smack you in the back. We're gonna jump. You can also do some lunge jumps. So we're going to step forward and we'll lunge and jump and switch. Another one, you can do some side jumps. Just gonna jump to the side. Another one you can do, this one's fun. Big jump forward, run back. Big jump forward, run back. You can also do some side lunges with a skip. So go into a side lunge, come up and skip. Like that high pitched squeal there. Yeah, that was great. Um, you can also do this to the back. So you would do a reverse lunge with a skip called a runner's jump. So I hope you're seeing now you can work out with pretty much anything you have at home. Um, Liz? What are you doing? Those are for the end. I'm not doing anything. No, it's nothing. It's nothing. We have, uh, we have more to do here. You can only drink your beer at the end. We're good. We're good. Not drinking beer. <sighs> All right. Let's get going. Hey, Cass. You're up. Hey, we can, use, uh, we can use beer. Apparently they come in all sizes. I thought this was six, but it's nine. So you can use your nine pack, or ugh, you can 
can use your 12. So we're going to do some single arm rows. Kick your little nine pack to the side. Who makes nine packs? Maybe I just don't know enough. I'm going to put one hand on the seat of my chair. I'm going to stagger my feet here, starting in the front, pulling back towards my hip. We're going to do some single arm rows. Don't go too fast or you'll shake all your beer. And the slower the better anyway because we are squeezing everything and we'll have more time under tension if we go slow. Squeeze your core too. What else am I doing with these? That was it. That's it. <laughs> then sit down and drink them. Good job. All right. Now's the fun part. You get to open your beer. Let's open this bad boy up. Now we're going to take the cans out. We're going to use the cans for the rest of this work. You can, haha, no pun intended. Uh, you can use water bottles. You can fill water bottles up with sand if you need more weight. Um, you can use growlers if you're really strong. Uh, but we're just going to use good old fashioned cans. So, the first exercise you can do with these, which you can do a lot, we're going to do some bicep curls. Now, these aren't very heavy, so. We're going to split this up. We're going to do 10 half curls. And then after you're done with that, you're going to do 10 half curls this way without stopping. And then you're going to do 10 full curls. So you're going to be 30 reps in this set. Okay. Another one you can do, you can do some tricep kickbacks. So you're just going to lean on your chair and you're going to bring your arm up and squeeze and come back down, back up, and squeeze. Now these are really light, so make sure you're squeezing really tight, engaging that muscle. Now we like to do these because you always want to do opposite the same. So another one you can do, you can grab your other can. We can do some upright rows. This is a good one. We can also do some Arnold presses, like this. Here we go. I know, I'm having a rough day. Arnold presses, here we go. So we can go up and back down. And up and back down. All right, and then finally, we can do some hammer curls. So if you'd like, hammer curls are the same as bicep curls, but your hands are gonna be straight, kind of like you're smashing them down like a hammer. Um, but you're gonna do half, again, 10, and then you'll do 10 to the top, and then you'll do 10 full, and that will be one set. So you'll do three sets of those. You'll do three sets of all of these, of 10. All right, so there you go. Now you can drink your beer, because you're done. <laughs> Good winnings. Yeah, seriously, bye H2O. I can't believe we're dumping out water to fill our water bottles with beer. I can, beer's way better. Yeah, we don't need water. It could work out. <laughs> so, our viewers, we want to hear your thoughts on what we're doing. So, if you have any ideas for things that you want to see us do, put it in the comments below. Let us know. We'll try to make that happen for you. We had one request for a lawnmower the other day, and I thought that was just perfect. So, be fun. soon to come. <laughs> Alright, so this is a three beer workout. So, if you complete this workout, you get three beers. Now, if you've been following along, you know that we split the workout, so we split the beers. So, we can't really shotgun a beer and a half. I mean, I guess we could. We could waste. We wouldn't waste, though. We would just drink four. Um, we, didn't earn, we didn't earn four. Yeah, no, we didn't. So, we have our water bottles that we dumped out. And um, we're going to fill them with beer, so here we go. Now... Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. So, we're good. Somebody didn't charge the camera. Sorry, sorry, my bad. So we go we're back. back up. <laughs> we're switching, we, we do have different colors here because this is a different flavor than what we just had because we cracked our beers just as the camera died and we knew that we needed to crack them on camera. So, we switched colors, my bad. We're still doing this, we're figuring it out. All right. You ready? You ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Sounds so refreshing. I did a pretty bad job pouring that. <laughs> That's a lot of beer when you look at it this way. You 
want more? Yes. I think that's half. Don't cheat me out of any. We have to... There's not even a way for us to compare. <laughs> we should have solo cups. Next yeah. time. Should have brought some from home. Next time. Next time for sure. All right, ready? I'm ready.